a reflection on the year as a whole for you? Uh, quite the roller coaster, I guess. Um, started off, uh, you know, obviously trying to to be with the big team, so um, obviously some disappointment. But along with that, it's been you know quite a quite a fun ride with with the Moose this year, and um, obviously just disappointed. Felt like uh, everyone. I feel like we all felt like we had a team to, to go a bit deeper. And um, anytime you know your season ends early, it's just a bit disappointing. But for me, I mean, I've had a great uh, great time with all these guys and the staff and the whole Moose organization. I mean, has has always done it. You know, the best the best I've ever really seen. So uh, yeah, just just thankful for 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 another fun year, I guess. Guys could hang their heads in shame. They could, they could pout. They could be mopey if they get sent out to the AHL. But I mean, you just produced you 25 goals, 25 assists, better than you know you've ever done, obviously, uh, at this level. Is it one of those situations where you, you said, "I'm just going to do what I need to do to kind of gain the attention of what's going on upstairs"? And you know, because I don't really have any control, but I can control what I can do on the ice. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get you anywhere to. <laughs> To feel sorry for yourself, and I feel like the season will pass you by, right? So, um, your career, at, I mean, this is my sixth year here now, so, um, you know, time flies. You don't really have the luxury to kind of sit around and wait. So, for me, it was just do what I've always done, and, you know, that's try to come to the rink every day and be the best I can be hockey player-wise and, and try to be a good teammate. And, I mean, that's just kind of showing up and, and working hard. So, um, yeah, I mean, you never know who's watching, right? And I think that's kind of... The end all be all is you got to go out there and try to you know show what you can do. How does disappointment like? How do you transition that disappointment to motivation? Like in, in the mindset of it, like you're you know you're saying you never know who's watching, but how do you turn the switch of you know I'm disappointed I'm not playing with the big club to coming down level and having the season that you do? A little bit of anger maybe I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think uh, you got to use use what you got, right? I mean, things are going well. You use that momentum to, to play well. Things are going poorly. You try to use that to play well. I mean, it all kind of comes down to the same thing, just, you know, going out there and playing good hockey. And I think um, in the situation this year, I mean, it's been a lot of kind of just motivation, you know, chip on your shoulder or using that disappointment, like you said, and channeling that. So um, I've always been a big believer in, you know, just working hard and, Hopefully things will kind of come your way, right? And I mean, it's it's hard. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. And for me this year it was, you know, things going in seem like all the time. So uh, just one of those years, you know, you, you're having a good time playing, you're feeling good on the ice, and you know that that translates a lot. You know, in the dressing room, having a good good atmosphere and, and good mindsets, and yeah, it's, I'd say it's to answer your question, it's just kind of take take what you have and, and use it. Were you on the playoff team last year for the Moose, or were you part of the series last year with the no, no, I wasn't. So, but knowing like you know what happened last year, going back this year, two chances to close out the series, and you end up losing by one goal in Game Five. What do you learn from that situation? And comes to you know playoff hockey uh, and what it takes to close out a series. I mean, like I know it's a hard thing to digest, but there's something to be digested. Like, what did you take away from it? Um, personally, I mean don't take anything for granted. I think that's how I felt coming into this series. I mean, I think I'd only played maybe three or four playoff games in, in five years, so um, doesn't come often. And I think that's something uh, for me personally, I was just trying to, you know, take advantage of every game, every shift in playoffs. I mean, you never really know when you're going to get back or how far you're going to go. Personally, I haven't been able to, to go very deep in playoffs in my career so far. So uh, just kind of a crappy feeling, obviously, to get to get out this early. But at the same time, I mean, we we gave it our all, and I think everybody in there is proud of you know the effort and the work. And um, I mean, they're a good team, right? So you know, somebody's got to win, and they got the better of us, you know, that last game. And up until then, I think everybody uh, is pretty proud of you know the effort we put in.